Hello everybody, today we are going to make this beautiful bigish bag. Let me show you what it looks like on the other side. So it has a zipped pocket here in the front. It is closed of course with a zip at the top. It's got two big pockets inside. It's very very roomy. So and well padded as well. So, you feel like making it? Come on, let's get sewing. The pattern for this bag is super easy to make. Use two A3 sheets of paper. Cello tape them together. Which means that your pattern is 23 and a half inches across and 16 and a half inches deep. Cut out from each corner a square measuring nine and a half centimeters or one side measures three and three quarter inches. The last thing to do is to measure from the top here one centimeter draw a line or three eighths of an inch and cut out this strip of paper. And this is your pattern. There's nothing to it. Use your template to cut out two pieces of outer fabric, two pieces of lining and two pieces either of fusible fleece that you will iron on the back of the lining or here I've got some wadding and I will stitch it onto the uh, back of the lining. We are now going to make the two handles. For this you need a piece of fabric four and a half inches wide and 20 inches long. So fold your fabric in half and press lengthways. Open up the fabric and fold the two long sides towards the center. Press. Fold the fabric again on itself and give it a press. Now we are going to make a closed ended strap which means that the end of the strap will be visible at, as it will be uh, stitched onto the outer fabric. So, once you reach this stage here, fold the fabric, fold the uh, handle a little bit backwards like this, uh, so that the raw edges are on the outside, and then stitch or sew across the bottom. Do exactly the same um, at the other end of the uh, handle. It will look like this. Snip off the corners very carefully. Then turn your strap inside out and it will look like this. This is finished. Now after this top stitch on either side stitch length four and a half. Fold the outer fabric in half, cut a little notch to mark the middle, measure two inches from the middle and place the handle, the same on this side. Then measure four and a half inches and this is the place where you will sew here the end of the handle. So stitch a little square, stitch diagonally as well to make the um, handle really secure and do that with the other three ends. We are now going to sew an almost invisible zipped pocket. My zip measures about nine inches. Cut two pieces of fabric for the pocket. Twelve inches across and six and a half inches deep. Place one side, one piece, on the side of the bag, right sides together. Pin it centrally, five inches from the top edge of the bag, here, five inches from the top, uh, and six inches from either side of the bag. Then draw an elongated rectangle which is seven 
and a quarter inches across and five eighths of an inch deep. So there will be two and three eighths of um, inches on either side and one and a quarter inch from the top of the pocket. Next, sew all around the rectangle. Then, with your quick and pick, make a slit here in the middle and use a small pair of scissors. Cut along the central line and then cut the Y shape into the corners. Be very careful not to cut through the stitches in the corners. Push the lining like this through the opening. Press, making sure that the corners are nice and neat. This is what the back looks like. It's much better once it has been pressed. So, pin it, pin the, uh, the rest of the pocket to uh, make it nice and flat and then turn your side over. Place the zip behind the hole, tack or baste to make sure it stays in the right place and then sew all the way around. This is what the end result looks like. Turn the side of the bag over like this. Place the other piece of the pocket on top, right sides together pin and sew all around the pocket. Of course, be careful when you sew not to sew the outer fabric. Uh, so you've got to fold the side of the bag away each time as you move around the pocket. Here we are, we've got a nice and practical invisible zipped pocket. Of course, you can sew another one on the other side of the bag. This is one piece of lining which will be the inside of your bag. As you can see I have sewn one patched pocket and I have sewn it in half so you have two uh, pockets. Um, you can sew as many as you like uh, inside the bag. I have just put a little bit of bias binding tape at the top to make the pocket stand out inside the bag. We are now going to place and sew the zip. So this is the outer fabric. Do remember that this is only three and a half inches, the shorter side. So put your zip, which should measure no less than 41 centimeters. Flip it over, right sides together, like this. Then use one piece of lining fabric place it on top, make sure all the edges line up, pin and then sew all along using the zipper foot. The next step is to open the two sides, lift with using the zip, turn it around, then place the second half of the bag right sides together, place it on top, make sure the sides and the top match, then for the second part of the lining fabric the same, right sides together and line up everything, pin and sew all along. Now open your bag like a book, making sure that on each side you have one piece of outer fabric and one piece of lining. Make sure everything is nice and flat and top stitch on either side of the zip, stitch length four and a half. Let's make, make now the two tabs which will be at either end of the zip. Use the squares which were cut out from the corners. Put them right sides together. Sew a U shape 
like this. You can cut the corners off and turn your tab inside out. Press and it will look like this. You will put it here centrally above the zip, of course, on the other, the other end as well. Now, if you like, you can make a shoulder strap for this bag. So use a little bit of fabric, fold it like you did for the handle, use a D-ring and place it here at the end of the zip. You can, if you want to, add the tab on top, but that's very bulky and I am not going to do the, the shoulder strap, so, but you can if you want to. So I will place now my tab right here at the end of the zip and I will baste it or tack it to hold it in place. The tabs have been tacked. Now open your zip completely. Put right sides together the two pieces of um, outer fabric and stitch just the straight lines here at the top and on the other side avoiding the corners. Do the same thing for the lining fabric. Line everything up, pin and sew this straight line and this one. As far as the base is concerned leave a gap of about 18 centimeters. Right, the lining side is here, the outer fabric is here. You can see in the middle the zip. So open up the corners like this, flatten them, make sure that this seam matches the middle of the zip. Here, pin. Open the other corner in the lining fabric, do the same, make sure that this seam matches the middle of the zip here. And then pin the two pieces together. It looks like this. The corners are nice and flat and sew here to close the corners. So this is one side of two corners sewn together with a zip somewhere inside. So here we are going to stretch this corner make sure that the seams really match properly. Push this corner down, grab the other corner in the lining fabric, same, match all the seams together, pin and sew along this edge. Do the same thing on the other side. Your bag looks like this with the uh, turning gap Put your hand in, grab the outer fabric and pull the bag inside out. You can either hand stitch or machine stitch the turning gap closed. Push the lining fabri fabric inside and make sure you poke all the corners out. Then give it a press. Our big bag is now finished. It is 9 inches high, 14 inches long and 8 inches wide. There's a lot of room inside there. So I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you some other time. Bye bye!